Right now at 10, your vote 2022. It's decision day in Indiana and across the nation. The results are in. News 8 is your source for the latest election results as they come in. Our team has been out following all the key races, and we've got team coverage for you tonight. One of the races that we've been following is the race for Secretary of State. Republican Diego Morales and Democrat Destiny Wells were competing for the open seat. Here are the latest results. Right now, Republican Diego Morales has won the race for Secretary of State. Let's get to News 8's government reporter Garrett Berquist for the very latest. And Morales just finished talking to supporters here at the state Republican Party watch party just moments ago. Uh, he and the full slate of statewide candidates, the uh, in addition, the candidates for state treasurer and state auditor all spoke. Morales was the last of those three candidates to speak. Now, we should note that we have not yet heard from Des Democrat Destiny Wells' campaign Morales ran slightly behind his Republican colleagues throughout the night. They ran consistently in the low 60s in terms of vote percentage. Morales typically in the mid to high 50s, which, of course, Morales has had uh, faced several controversies concerning his views of the 2020 election, among other things. But just moments ago, Morales and his counterparts for state auditor and state treasurer all claimed victory. Here's a little bit of what Morales told the crowd just a few minutes ago. Start this from scratch. When I saw my parents, they went to buy their work boots to use it and work it at the factory floor. Now, dad and mom, you have a son elected as the next and first Hispanic Latino secretary of state in the history of Indiana. And as you just heard, this would make Diego Morales the first Latino person elected to a statewide office in the state of Indiana. Once again, we are still awaiting word from Destiny Wells' campaign. Once we have any updates on that, we will bring that to you. Live in Indianapolis, Garrett Bergquist, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook. Garrett, thank you. And Ryan Neer is speaking right now about his win in the prosecutor's race here in Marion County. Let's listen in. Incredibly grateful for their energy and effort keeping us all together. Uh, I just can't say thank you enough. Uh, like the sheriff, I want to thank my family. I want to thank my wife and my kids uh, who kept me centered through all of this, who stood there every single day with me. Uh, and I just appreciate how they've handled all of this. There's a lot of adversity in this campaign, and sometimes that can affect your family. Uh, but I got the greatest family in the world that were there for me every single day, so thank you. When I say family, I also mean my extended family. I want to thank my parents, my mother-in-law, who were always there for me and taught me some very valuable lessons. And one of the most important lessons that I learned from them is you stand on your own merit. You don't have to talk about other people. You just go out there, you do the job, you do the work, and everything will take care of itself. You know, Marion County is definitely confronted with a lot of issues, and in order to solve those issues, those are really complex problems. Uh, and I'm just incredibly grateful to all the people in Marion County today who didn't give in to some of the negative things that were out there. You know, it's really easy to demonize someone, but it's a lot harder to come up with concrete solutions. And what the people of Marion County said today is, we want solutions. Thank you to everybody in Marion County. I also got to thank my Democratic family. Everybody came together. Everybody rallied around to make this happen. Thank you to everybody who knocked on doors, donated money, volunteered to help us out. I'm just incredibly grateful. This was really a team effort. Thank you to everyone who stepped up. I truly, truly appreciate it. Uh, I do think I have the best team in the business. I've got Emily Schrock. i got Elise Schrock. Dan, you did a great job. Amy Schwartz has been awesome. Jennifer Joy. Uh, Adam Kirsch actually said something nice to me today, so I love him. Uh, we got to thank Dana Jess Chikini, Leffler, Salida, Terrence, Clarissa, Fletch, uh, and of course uh, everybody in my extended family who's here as well. Uh, thank you just to everybody who came out here. My, even my sister came out here. Uh, so it was really nice to see. Uh, just grateful for all of that. Thank you to everybody here. we got four more years. Thank you.
All right, well, there you have it. That was Ryan Mears speaking after winning uh, the, uh, the prosecutor's race here in Marion County over Cindy Carrasco. Now, Senator Todd Young in the senator's race uh, wins re-election to the U.S. Senate. He, he gave his acceptance speech earlier this evening. Young was running against Democrat Thomas McDermott, the former mayor of Hammond. This will be Young's second term in office. Well, results are still pouring in from Indiana's first congressional district right now. Democrat incumbent Frank Mervan is leading Republican challenger Jennifer Ruth Green. The district has long been a Democratic stronghold, but Republicans hoped to flip it. And you can rely on news aid for the remaining results as they come in. Just grab your phone, scan the QR code at the bottom side of your screen. That will take you to our election page where you can see the numbers live as they come in.